Hello everybody, the purpose of this video is to help out uh, identify different words and um, that we use to call our keys and um, it will also help you to communicate with your mechanic or us as you're talking about what's going on with your car since keys is something that we do. We program new keys for the car, we cut new key blades, uh, transponders, remote controls and there's times that uh, we get a little bit confused with what we hear online and what we have learned and this hopefully with this video we can learn more about um, what to call with each key and exactly what's going on and I'm sure you've heard you know these keys called keys remotes people use different words the fob the clicker transponder the thing with the buttons and I wanted to show this video where I'm gonna break it apart into different pieces and uh, explain exactly what each part is, what it does, and um, what it doesn't do, uh, so you have a more uh, clear idea. So the first thing is, these keys usually you're able to separate the blade from the key, and it'll be this metal part. That metal part is called the key blade, and that is what goes inside your uh, door locks, ignition switch, and if it is cut correctly, it'll allow you to turn that tumbler to get into the car and eventually start the car as well. Um, we cut these key blades all the time in case you want to make copies for yourself for your car half as, um, and have as a backup. Um, then the next thing here is going to be this entire part we call the key head. This one is called a master key head um, because this one has buttons to open and close the door but if I break this apart into different pieces uh, I'm going to show you exactly what it's built out of. So the first thing that we're going to see inside is going to be the remote control. It is, it is a circuit board, has buttons on it. As you can see the LED there blinking. This is the part that opens and closes the doors. It enables or disables the car alarm if it ever were to go off. That's all it does. Um, when people talk about uh, programming remote controls to the car, or at least us when we're talking about it, what we mean is this thing, this circuit board, and it's just to open and close the doors, turn on and off the alarm. Has nothing to do with starting the car yet, okay? There is a separate part inside this key head called a transponder pill or RFID chip. Very small part, it looks like that. This is what contains the password inside the car's security immobilizer or um, CAS, EWS system, depending on the make of the car. This is what contains the password that actually starts the car. And this technology has been around um, in vehicles. I'm gonna say it's been very popular much more after 1995, certainly in the year 2000, certainly nowadays all cars have some sort of transponder chip um, that, it, that has a security information tool uh, for a key to start a certain car. In older cars, it was easier for you to steal a vehicle because this technology did not exist. And as soon as you were able to either duplicate the keyblade or turn that ignition switch one way or another, the car was going to start. In movies, you would see that people hotwire the car, which is another way of pre pretending you have a keyblade that closes a contact that makes the starter motor turn. Modern cars, sorry, that doesn't happen anymore because this thing needs to be programmed as well. So when I'm adding keys to cars, like a Porsche, there's, we have to do two separate programming processes. One for the remote control, one uh, for the transponder, which starts the car. Usually, all these things come inside a key head, and like this one that has buttons, we call it a master key head. There's other key heads that are not a master, we call them valet. They're smaller, and they do have a button, but it's just uh, an LED light to help you find at night the door locks. And these things are also available, and these are only uh, they only have inside a transponder pill. That's it, they don't have remote control. Uh, so they won't be able to disable uh, the alarm or open uh, the doors from afar. They're not meant for that. They're meant more like as a backup for you to have in your house uh, in case of an emergency that you lose your main master uh, key, remote, however you wanna call it. Um, and, and we do we cut blades, we program the remote controls to open and close the doors. We actually also do tune-ups on these because we repair computer electronics. If any of these things get broken, we're able to tune them up and 
sort of like made them come back to life as well. Um, and if you want, of course, additional keys with transponders inside, we can uh, enable those here and program them for you. Um, we're from Specialized ECU Repair. We work on Porsche, BMW, Ferrari, Maserati. If you have any questions, give us a call, 954-652-1496. 954-652-1496. We'd love to be able to help you out and answer your questions. Hopefully, with this information, you can communicate a little bit more clear uh, to your mechanic and to us and to yourself, and you'll know exactly how a key is built on the inside and what each part is for. Thanks so much.